Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. In this video session, we will use Handlebars Templating Engine in Backbone.js and we are learning Backbone.js tutorial from scratch. As you know that this is our part 23 of this video session series. So if you are a beginner from this video session, then please I strongly recommend it that please go through all videos and watch those videos first before making continuation with us. In our last video session, we had used underscore templating engines. Okay, in all video sessions up to 22 part, we had used underscore templating engines. But in this video session, we will use some another templating engines like handlebars. Okay, so how we make use of that in Backbone.js, we will see in a bit. So before using handlebars, guys, you need to install or you need to download a library file for that. Okay, so how we Get, actually get the library file so go to your browser and here is the link that I have opened okay handlebars.js.com slash installation.html so this is the path where you get actually the library file for handlebars okay you need to download this file 4.0.11 is the current version of handlebars which is going on okay so on clicking on this button you should download the handlebars library file okay so before making this video session guys i have downloaded as you can see handlebars 4.0.1.11.js okay so we need to create a link of this file to our application file so i have made application file like video23.html and here is v23.js so we need to make the link of that file here okay so just go ahead and create the link of that file okay so underneath like script src and the file is here so just scroll to js folder okay and here is our other library files just rename it to make copy the name okay so i have made copy of the file name and just paste within js folder and here is the file name so we have included our file let's go ahead and check to our browser is there any console error or not okay so no console error as you can see so we have successfully integrated our handlebar library file to our application okay so let's use about handlebars templating engines in our application as you can see we have made a small snippet of code in backbone.js where we have created a player model okay we have set some default values to that and we have created two instances of our player model player one and the player two where we have set two different players information okay so we need to pass this model we need to pass this model to our application let's say player two information we are passing right now so model and here is player number two okay i have passed the player two information within our view right now we are showing all these contents to this dollar el jquery object okay which actually pointing to this content id div div id content okay so let's go ahead and create a template of handlebar so how can we use handlebar so before that you need to attribute as template and all you have to do that instead of using handlebar you have used template underscore and this is underscore templating engines okay we have used so far so instead of that we need to use handlebars to use that you need to write handlebars dot compile okay so this is the method under handlebars you need to use to include your handlebars templating engines inside your application structure okay all you have to do you need to define your template here so right now let's go ahead and create an inline template for that okay and also i want to tell you guys that in our underscore templating engines we have used symbol as you remember that this is the symbol that we have used okay this is the symbol that we have used in underscore templating engines but in handlebars we use some another symbol like curly braces a pair of closing curly braces as well as opening curly braces okay we need to use this symbol to include our handlebars templating engines variable okay so let's go ahead and 
like we want to print the name and the team okay and the team of what we pass here and team so let's remove that so here we have printed two variables like name and the team and we need to pass this model to this handlebar template okay so to pass that get rid of all these contents that we have it inside that so this dot template we need to pass this dot model dot to json okay we have passed our model what we have actually included to this view player to informations we have attached we need to pass this player to information into json format to this template and by the help of name and the team key we have accessed the value from player 2 okay so let's go ahead and refresh your browser handlebars is not defined okay okay guys we have misspelled about handlebars we have written something here so let's go ahead and rename it handle and remove r from that handlebars okay so just refresh your browser and here is the information guys that you are saying and team india okay so though these all information here is the name key and here is about the team information so these all keys we have written inside this player to object and all we have done we have used like name and the t key from player to information within our template okay so our basic motto is that guys how can we actually use handlebars templating engines in our backbone chance application in our last video session we have used about underscore js and we need to include by using underscore dot template method okay and here is the method that we need to define okay here are the definitions of our template but instead of underscore js we have used about handlebars okay to use handlebars we need to include this library file what we have downloaded so far okay so if we remove this section and refresh this file then you might gain an error of handlebars is not defined obviously because handlebars is coming from this library okay so just include it again and refresh your browser so as you can see guys to include our templates in backbone.js application you need to write handlebars.compile method okay and here is our template definition so let's go ahead and create an external template okay by using a script tag in our underscore js template guys we have made script like a script okay and within this script tag we need to include type here okay something called text slash html or slash text template okay so we need to include the type attribute and the type attribute should be text slash template or html but in case of handlebars we need to use another for that so just get rid of the first tag and this is the tag that we need to use okay this is the id that we have to use by using this id we need to access this template within our js file okay and here you need to write text for slash x handlebars template this is the value that you need to use instead of using template or html in underscore js so this the here we can define our external templates let's go ahead and create something called name and team okay we have used the same key here of our model that we have passed to this template as you can see so get rid of all these things that we have written inside that and we need to write like just copy the name of id that what we have specified with this template just make copy of that and within that just we need to call dot html okay so this is the syntax guys that how can we call your template file inside view and here we have passed a model object inside that and we have access the two values of that like name and the team so let's go ahead in your browser and refresh your page just refresh this as you can see you are seeing and the india so this is the information that we have access from our model this is our player name and here is the team associated with that okay so by the help of this these are the attributes like type text x handlebars template you can include our your 
external templates in your backbone.js application okay so this is the basic use of model inside handlebars okay so let's go ahead and make a collection make a collection and we need to pass over this template and how we loop through all these models inside the collection inside our external templates okay so let's go ahead and create a collection for that like player collection all we have to pass the information which model actually contains so it contains the player information okay just copy the name of object and paste it here we have made a player collection object in which it contains all the values associated with a player okay so we need to set the values for player collection so let's go ahead and set the values for this player collection object okay these two player informations we need to include okay so just type where player object and we need to set values for that so by the help of player collection these two players object we have set inside this player object variable okay so we have created our collection we have set two player information within that and which is type of player so just make copy of that and inside your view just you need to include collection and you need to pass that object here okay all we have done now just copy this variable and pass within your template okay so we need to write here collection and this is the player object that we need to iterate over okay so all we have done now just save this file all we need to convert this player object of collection type to JSON variable before passing through this template okay so to convert in JSON we need to use to JSON method now we have converted our player collection object into JSON format okay so we need to loop through all of these model objects that we have passed inside this collection so to loop through just go to your HTML file and just do inside this template suppose we are going to loop through inside that so you need to include each method for that okay here is the opening bracket and here is the closing of each and this is the values that we are going to access from our collection object okay so to make use of each method you need to include has symbol each and the name of the variable that you need to specify that inside your template here is the collection okay so just change to data something so we need to look through inside this data variable just copy this name we need to pass this name here okay each and data this data variable contains all the model objects that we have passed inside that as you can see now we are going to look through all of these objects okay so just need, we need to close each here okay so we have opened each and closed now we need to look through each of these object and take the name of its you can say like its name and the team okay we need to access these two values so we need to change is something like called this dot name and this dot team okay all you have done now you have done you have included your data variable and you need to have looked over by using each method okay so this is the very basic use of each to look through all of your model objects so let's go ahead to browser and refresh your page okay so here are the informations guys that as you can see we have passed two player informations like Suresana and the India team, Yuvraj Singh and the India team. So we have looked over all of these model objects that we have passed inside our collection. Okay, so basic points you need to remember while using handlebars. If you want to include your handlebar templates, then you should use handlebars.compile method. And here is goes the template definition. This is our external template that we have define inside this HTML view okay to include your HTML template or to define your external template you need to use text for slash X handlebars template and all we have to use your handlebars library file before using that okay and here is the basic syntax of using each method 
and we have looked over the model object that we have passed inside this collection of data okay and before passing this collection object to this variable we need to convert it to JSON format so guys in this video session we have seen that how can we use handlebars templating engines in backbone.js application so guys I think you like this video session so if you have any query about this video session guys then please drop a comment I will get my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day